Now to a story that you will see only on two tonight. A new drug approved by the FDA reduces the rate that Alzheimer's progresses. For the first time ever, a Houston patient got that infusion. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez was there today for what some are hoping is a historic turning point in the fight against Alzheimer's. Haley? You know, I got to say that I, I think it might be, actually. This is Mr. Johnson behind me. He is the first patient in Texas to receive this infusion. And Mr. Johnson has had Alzheimer's for five years. Despite a lot of people being against this drug, he says he's eager to have it. Rolf and Carol Johnson say Alzheimer's symptoms have made everyday life get progressively more challenging. Putting things down in a place and that I forget where they are. Um, forgetting where my car is. It's been the same story for families for decades. The disease starts with forgetfulness and declines, declines, declines. But now, professor of neurology with McGovern Medical School at UT Health, Dr. Paul Schultz, says the prognosis for Johnson and future Alzheimer's patients may be good. Now for the first time, we're giving them a medicine that we know has an impact. It doesn't cure it, but it has an impact on the disease. The drug is called aducanumab, which works by attacking the amyloid plaque that builds up in the brain and causes progression of the disease. But it's not a miracle. Actually, in November, an advisory panel of experts recommended against approving it, saying there wasn't enough evidence to show it worked. But the FDA says that while the expert community has offered differing perspectives, it feels the benefits outweighed the risks of the therapy. And the Johnsons will take that risk. I am eager to have that medication, uh, any medication, that would give me some relief. The previous drugs that we've been on with studies with Dr. Schultz have been, we believe, very helpful. And so we're hopeful about this. And You know, after decades of disappointment for Alzheimer's patients, many believe that this drug is no longer going to be treating the symptoms, but actually delay the progression of the disease. Chris and well, Lauren, back to you guys. Incredible stuff. Hey, Haley, I see Mr. Johnson there behind you. How much is he paying for this? So Mr. Johnson is actually what Memorial Hermann calls a pilot patient. They are paying for six months of his infusions. And after that, after that six month mark, they're really hoping insurance will jump in and cover this. Right now, the drug is so new to the market that insurance does not cover it. Mm -hmm. um, and the pharmaceutical company says that it would be about $56,000 a year. But Dr. Schultz is confident that eventually insurance, Medicare, will cover some portion of that. Quite costly right now. All right, Haley, thank you.